Artillery. The topic in World of Tanks that simply refuses to die. Before you start screaming in the comments. This is supposed to be a video where we discuss the topic. Not saying OMG Wargaming please nerf. Because believe it or not, most SPGs in the game are not overpowered, but the class as a whole is simply a broken game mechanic. We will cover the following. The history of artillery. Our own opinions about the class. Why the class gets so much hate. And suggestions to changes. Let's get started. And yes, we will stick to this voice throughout the video, as nobody can listen to Edvini 20 or Zwarch with a straight face. Looking back at World of Tanks when Edvini 20 and Zwarch actually started playing. Tier 6 tanks could go up against tier 10 tanks. Back then, artillery had one simple task. Kill the enemy tanks that most of your teammates are unable to damage. Back in the old days, light tanks had a more important role as a good scout could make the difference between a win or a loss, as artillery had so much more firepower back then. Years went by, and the game evolved with it. The matchmaker has been changed in a way that most tanks can damage each other without too much trouble. Eventually Wargaming also started selling premium rounds for credits. Along with this change, almost all tanks can damage the enemy even when low tier, if you decide to load premium. At this point, artillery had lost its role of taking on the most heavily armored tanks. Instead, most RT players usually just go for whatever tanks that happen to be spotted. I don't 1200 assist damage though. Rip. You shouldn't have said anything. The killer is fair and balanced and prevents camping! Or sometimes the tanks with the least armor to get those tasty one shots. Another downside with artillery since wargaming made premium ammo available for credits is that almost all arty players fire premium high explosive as it's simply a better ammo type than non-premium high explosive. This makes the class extremely pay to win and even more so since wargaming removed heat and AP rounds. Wargaming eventually nerfed artillery a bit but it didn't really change anything gameplay wise. Artillery just didn't perform as well as it once did. More time went by, and Wargaming tried to actually change the class. They nerfed damage, penetration, and gave it a stun mechanic to encourage RT players to support their teammates and focus groups of enemy tanks instead of single targets. Keep in mind that low tier RT still remains unchanged for reasons we don't know. Yep. Help. You got balanced. To a degree, the changes worked, but it still doesn't address the issue that most people have with artillery. To us here at Awesome Epic Guys, the main problem with artillery has always been that a player can sit in his own base without moving and cause damage to the enemy players on the other side of the map without putting his own tank at any risk. Low risk with high reward. We don't think that's how it should work. Many players compare RT to tanks like the KV-2 or FV-183. But these tanks have to expose themselves and take risks in order to do their damage. If a KV-2 can hit you, you can always hit him back. While an RT player can simply sit back and drop bombs on people with close to zero risk of return fire. This also leads to the extremely dull and repetitive gameplay. It doesn't really matter what tier or nation you play. The gameplay is close to the, the exact same. We would even argue that the gameplay gets easier and easier as you level up the tiers, as your enemies get slower and bigger. How does an average RT game look? The game starts. The player presses a shift key and can then drop nukes on the enemy players using only the mouse. That's pretty much it. Some hardcore RT players can apply strategies like actually moving between shots, relocating, and maybe counter battery fire. This makes the skill level cap of the whole class very low. It's very hard to see a difference between a low skilled player and a highly skilled player playing the same SPG. A highly skilled SPG player might be a bit better at positioning, leading shots and pre-aiming before the enemy appears. But that's pretty much it. And don't even mention the horror a good player with XVM in an arty can do against another good player in the enemy team. 
XVM focus has always been a problem, but it's even worse when the RT player has XVM, as he can simply pick what enemy tank to target. This can completely ruin the battle for the players who get XVM focused, and it can result in really dull gameplay, as the good RT player holds his fire in wait for the good enemy player to get spotted, while the good player in a tank only hides to prevent getting XVM focused. We think artillery should be more challenging to play. We all know that artillery prevents camping. <laughs> LOL just kidding. If you honestly think artillery prevents camping, you have probably never played World of Tanks. With too many SPGs in play, especially on large open maps, the battles become an epic camp fest. Artillery only punishes the players trying to advance and get the battles going. So it directly encourages people to not get spotted, resulting in slow and boring gameplay. A few SPGs per side ruin the experience for the rest of the players. Many RT players defend themselves by telling the tankers to keep moving or simply hide behind cover. It's not hard to lead targets with an SPG, so hitting or at least splashing a moving target is not hard. And to stay behind cover to prevent getting shot at only results in campy gameplay. And then we haven't even talked about the SPGs with high enough arc to simply fire above large obstacles like buildings and rocks. How can I hit these people? They are behind a huge mountain! This is balance. not balanced. I'm gonna see if I can like stun all three of them. Guys, you gotta stop camping! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> And with the boost RT has been given to splash damage along with the stun means that you don't even need to hit your target to damage it. Another thing that bothers us when facing artillery is that the artillery player can farm damage on you and your team a whole battle, but in the end, when they are the last players left alive, many of them decide to suicide to prevent giving the enemy team more XP and credits. And those brave RT players who actually stand their ground and fight still have the potential to shotgun you. Go forward, I <laughs> And even if you catch an arty player off guard and destroy him, he has so little HP that it doesn't feel rewarding enough. This could simply be fixed by making arties more XP and credit rewarding and increase the punishment for destroying your own tank. Another thing that really bothers us is because of the boost arty has been given to the splash damage. It's extremely common to get stunned by your own arty when engaging in close combat with the enemy. SPGs don't seem to get punished the same way as normal tanks with team damage. Oh, artillery. Spaghetti first. Oh, uh, I'm going for the Matilda. Because he's balanced. Hello. I can't the spaghetti. I got team killed by our left. SERIOUSLY! And not too long ago there was a battle where a friendly arty did nothing but fire upon his own team for the whole game. Including shooting at Vinny 20 more than 4 times killing him. The player never turned blue. Now, what could be done to this class then? Considering that Wargaming haven't introduced a new SPG line since the British nation, we can make the assumption that they know artillery is not good for the game in its current state. So we think they are more than willing to make changes, but they probably don't dare to due to the risk of getting it wrong, or pissing off too many RT players who have invested time and money into their game. Here are some suggestions to changes. Keep artillery as it is, but limit SPGs to their own battle queue, where people can simply decide in the settings if they wish to play with RT or not. The same way we can choose to take part in assault, encounter, and grand battles. This could also be good for light tank players who wish to have more arties to spot for. Limit arty to a few game modes like Frontline, Skirmish and Clan Wars. Maybe even create a PvE mode where arty players can grind their vehicles, so no actual players have to get shot. Force arty players to pay more attention to each other. We think this is how Armored Warfare is doing it. When an SPG fires a shell, an icon pops up on the minimap for the enemy arty, encouraging arty players to move after each shot and relocate. If you don't, the icon on the map will become more and more clear till maybe the point where you get fully spotted for the enemy arty players. This will result in less bombs getting dropped on the rest of the players and make the artillery gameplay more engaging, giving them a kind of minigame of their own. Make RT more skill based. When an RT gets a shot on you in a battle, you almost never feel outplayed. 
You almost feel cheated for losing a bunch of HP from a bomb from the sky you could not prevent. Some of the ideas we will propose now are taken from a YouTuber called Honest Gaming, who made a great video upon the same topic, going into great detail of how to change RT. Feel free to check it out in the card in the top right corner, or as a link in the video description. One of his ideas is to give the RT player more choices with more kinds of ammunition, doing different things for the team. A smoke shell could for example conceal teammates and cover a retreat or advance, in a similar way to how smoke shells work in World of Warships. An incendiary shell would burn down foliage and perhaps cause slight damage to low armored tanks. This could actually prevent camping if used correctly. Another shell might have the ability to actually spot enemy vehicles, if hit within a certain radius without scoring any actual damage, rewarding the RT player with assistance damage to the spotted target. This would also have the effect of preventing people from camping in the back. A gas shell could also be a good idea. A gas cloud from a gas shell covers a small part of the map for a certain amount of time, and any tank that drives in that area has a chance of getting its crew knocked out or maybe just overall lower combat effectiveness, like the current stun mechanic. Forcing people to get out of the area. Honest Gaming also talks about making RT players able to choose the elevation angle of their guns. If you fire your gun with a greater elevation, the shell will pick up greater speed on the way down, causing more damage to the target. This would reward players who make the right choice at the right time, and punish people who stay still in the open making themselves easy target for high damaging shells. This ability could also cause greater effect of shells that doesn't deal any damage. For example, a smoke shell that is being fired from a greater elevation angle, covers more of the map. Many people will probably see this as an impossible task, to load the right shell at the right time, when you have so many to pick from. So why not give the RT player the choice to switch shells faster than reloading a shell? So if a normal shell takes 20 seconds to load, if you just switch shell in an RT, it might do it in less than half the time, to encourage the player, to make the right choice and fire the correct shell for the situation. Depending on what strategy you prefer in your SPGs, you should also be given more choices when it comes to guns. Right now, you usually have a stock gun and once you've unlocked the top gun, that's what you go with for the rest of the grind. Why not give players more guns, or pick from with different strengths and weaknesses? We could probably keep going even further, but we feel this is enough for a single video. And that concludes our RT discussion. So tell us, what do you think? Is RT okay in its current state? Or do you agree with us that Wargaming should make some changes? Or perhaps you have ideas of your own? Or is there anything else you would like us to discuss in a future video? Let us know in the comment section. Please try to keep it clean in the comments. We don't want to start a comment war or offend any RT players. Be mature. Also feel free to share the video around and nuke that like button. That was an ace! <laughs> I got an ace in my first game! Oh!